Hello everybody, welcome back to Young Lions. My name is Karen and unfortunately I'll be the only one with you guys today. Um, today I actually wanted to speak a bit about God's love and how it does not equate to um, human love. Um, and since it's like Valentine's Day in a few days, I was like, oh, let's just talk a bit about um, what God love, God's love is and what exactly it is, how it expresses itself in my life. A lot of times, the, I find that the first, um, the first times we were exposed to what love is and how it looks like, it's usually from our parents. And um, one thing that I've um, learned or even heard from other people around my age is that one thing that they had learned is God's love shouldn't be minimized to how our parents had loved us, even if they loved us in a good way. It's just that sometimes putting a cap or putting a, a lid on on God's love based off of what we grew up and how we were raised isn't the best. Um, there's a few reasons as to why that is. There's a Bible verse that talks about what God's love is you know, or what love is. Love is kind, love is um, slow to anger, all of those things. But when you dive a bit deeper into it, um, I found that there was a few biblical characters who didn't truly understand what God's love was. One of the biblical characters that didn't fully understand um, Jesus' love or what God's love was, I found was the character named Judas. I find that that's because, um, which is odd because he was around Jesus the whole time. He saw the miracles being performed. He saw all of that. However, I think he didn't understand the full revelation of, of God's love and that God's love is very forgiving. A lot of times, actually, just like Judas, we can think that once we've sinned or once we've gone behind what God wanted for us, then we need to, um, then, then there's no returning back. And I think it has a lot to do with just how society is in general. Um, a lot of times in society, if, if we're not put in a perfect position or a lot of times with society, if you're not doing exactly what society wants from you, then you're kind of rejected and pushed away. But I find that God's love is completely different. Also, um, going back to a bit of friends I was talking to and about how they kind of grew up with parents that gave them conditional love. Whereas um, whenever they would do something, that's when their parents would love them. But if they're not doing exactly what their parents want out of them, then their parents would kind of push them away. And a lot of times they would actually think that that's exactly how God's love was until they had to experience God's love for themselves. And when they would sin, what they would find themselves running away or not um, trying to sit in his presence when that's exactly what we should be doing. Whenever we sin or whenever we feel like um, we're not exactly what we want to be or we know that we've done wrong instead of walking away from Christ and we should actually be in his presence because it's only his presence that can transform us. We can't transform ourselves in our own way. And so that's kind of the little bit I wanted to talk about just for this week. It's a short video, but I just wanted to talk about how important it was to remember how much God loves us and what God's love really is. It's not about running away, but instead sitting in his presence and um, acknowledging that he'll love us no matter what. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hope always closes, right? So I always forget.